Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday and my Heyday channel. On this channel you can find Heyday videos and in addition to that the new game Heyday Pop as well. So I hope you like everything. For today's video we are going to be on my level 12 farm and working towards leveling up. This is my back to basics farm and I use it for basic videos and that's what I will be doing today. Now one thing I've noticed as I've opened up my game is something that's sparkling down in the trees on the actual right hand side and if we zoom on over into that area you can see the sparkles a little bit more. This is one thing that new players need to keep their eye out for. Many of us experienced players love these little sparkles because they are a good indication that something is behind the tree that needs to be tapped on. Now if I tap on it and we'll see what happens. Right, missed it. Okay, come up, where is it? Where is it? No, I don't want that one there. So oh my god, it's behind the trees and I can't get it. There we go. Okay, I've got it. So a red toolbox. Now sometimes the toolbox is locked and you have the choice of opening it by spending diamonds. I prefer not to. Now, depending on the size of the box depends on the diamond quantity, but as do the prizes inside. Now this one is unlocked, which means whatever reward is inside I can claim without having to pay anything. And it's coins in this case, so very nice indeed. I take those coins, they're added to my kitty. Now, other aspects of the game, if I go up into the top right hand corner, there's the number three that's been highlighted on the diamonds, which means that there is a special offer on offer for me. Now, I'm not going to get it because my farm is too low, but let's see what it is. Oh, it's a wisteria tree. Now, I do like wisteria trees. They're very, very cool indeed. It's also offering me expansion material if I want to get it. That's valued at 250 yen. I live in Japan, so 250 yen is like the same price as 50 diamonds. So we're looking at about 50 diamonds worth of pieces there, which is not so bad. There's also some other items for the weekly deals, and then there's the diamond deals as well. Now, I won't be doing any of those. I'd rather just play without spending any money, and that's what I'm going to do today. Right, now we need to think about leveling up. Now, at the moment, I don't have what we call boosters in the game. I've not got high enough to be able to do that. Uh, I can't open the dock yet because I don't have the funding or the resources, uh, and I'm not yet level 17. Uh, same with the fishing area. I can't get over to this one yet, and I can't open up that area yet. So 27 I can't do either. Now, the town is another one, uh, as is the mine. Now, the mine is a nice one to aim for, and I'm working my way up towards that one because it will give me ores, and it will also allow me to make uh, different items with that. But that's, again, a low priority. So at the moment, okay, my priority is all about making money and building up my XP. So you'll see here I've got loads of crops that have pre-grown already. There's some items that are on my machines, which are just laid about, so I need to collect those. Barn-wise, I've got 33 of 150. Okay, and silo-wise, my silo is 103 of 125. So we're running out of space on those bits. Let's go collect the resources. That gives me the XP that I would like to have as well, which is very nice indeed. There's animal products to be collected as well, so I will harvest those ones. There's more over here as well, in here, so that's my cows done and my chickens done as well. And I've got my pigs to do as well. So that's all of the products harvested. There's feed been made, that's ready as well, so with the feed I can then feed my little chickens. There we go, wonderful indeed. And there's some extra feed down there as well. Now if I look here, I don't have any feed for the cows and I don't have any feed for the pigs, so I've got to make that one. So we go add some cow feed down there, and then we go and add some pig feed over on this one. So those three machines are loaded up. Now at the moment, okay, I'm running out of space there for food production. So what I can do is use my diamonds to increase the production on the machine, which allows me to produce more goods, which means I can then start making. Or what I can do is maybe expand the production on my dairy or one of my other machines down there. Now, it's a very tricky situation at this level deciding on what you want to expand on. Now, personally, okay, I'm going to go to the machine that I feel gives me a better return or faster turnaround of different products, allowing me to make more. 
Now, in many ways, you might think that's your dairy because it's important, but I've only got the one lot of cows. You may think it's a sugar mill, which I think is fantastic, but I don't want to be selling the sugar directly. I'm more interested in making lots of popcorn and selling that one because I know people will buy it. The bakery is also very good. I can make a lot of goods down here as well, but the time turnaround is very long. So if I wanted to upgrade something, the machine I would definitely go for is the popcorn pot as my first option here. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, all I need to do is to press the button and then confirm it again. And then my diamonds will be removed from my 10 total and they will upgrade this machine for me by one extra slot. Now, at the moment, I need to harvest my corn. So there we go. I've harvested my corn. I place that back down in the machine. Now, it'll be ready in about uh, an hour and 30 minutes time for three popcorn. So I'm pleased on that side. We're going to plant some more carrots because we're running low. And I'm going to go with the sugar cane as well. And then I will stick in a few bits of wheat as an additional extra item. Right now, let's load up my machine. So we need to do sugars. That's great. We need to load up the pancakes or the bacon and eggs. Mm, I'm going to go with one bacon and eggs down there. Make that two. There we go. A couple of hours worth of work. We've got bread. we got that. And we've got this one. If I can get some eggs, then I could probably do uh, some of the cookies as well. So I'll hold off on that one for the moment. Popcorn is good to go. Right. The last one we've got down here is the dairy. Now, looking at the actual information, looks like I need more cheese. So we take one of those cheeses there, leaving me with two and I get the butter and then I don't have any more. So good job. I didn't upgrade that machine. Right. Another toolbox. This one's locked. And if I click on the top left hand corner, you'll see some dice there. Clicking on that dice allows me to then see what's the possibility of getting specific items. And if you look there, you can see a lot of different items on the inside that are available within this actual box. Now, the odds are pretty good on getting coins, but I don't really want to be spending my diamonds to get coins. So I'm going to say no on that one. and I'm going to decline it. Right, some of my items have been purchased. Thank you very much, everybody. And that gives me a little bit of cash there as well. So I'm happy on that side. If we come down to the roadside board. There's some orders that can be done by myself and some that can be requested and some that can be ignored. Now, many of these are actually got sugar cane. If I look over at the sugar cane production turnaround, it's 30 minutes. So it's about the same time as redoing the order. So I can trash an order and it will come back later. But for this one, I think I'm going to leave them there. We're just going to do some of the ones that we can do and get some more XP as well. So there we go. Lovely indeed. Now, I'm not expecting to have a lot of resources at this level in the game. It takes time to build up items. So is it an issue to rush it? No, it's not. You should take your time and just enjoy it. And if you can move more quickly, that's perfect, but you don't have to. Now, remember, you can request up to three helps. Now, at my level, um, the help I'm going to get in many ways is also very limited because not everybody will be able to see my farm pop up on their menu option. The trouble with the actual help option, which is down there, most of us will see the higher level players requesting help. Then we can then go over and we can help those ones based on their needs or requirements. That's, of course, if they haven't gone. Uh, but the lower level ones, you've got to scroll through your friends bar. Now, if you've got a lot of friends that are very, very high level players, then the low level ones get missed. So maybe my orders won't be seen so quickly. So I'm going to show you something else down here in a second. Now, I've requested three parts down there. I could request these ones as well, so I might do that. But at the moment, let's see what comes up. Now, we've got an order here, which I can do. That'll give me a few more resources. Double check to make sure I'm not going to run out of anything. So we're good on that side. I'll take the call. And that's perfect. All right, that machine's up and running. Next order is eggs. That one I can't do. So we request help on that one. Right, I've requested three helps and one help from my hoodies as well. So hopefully they can come and grab it. The help should come up down there. It has done. And if I go to the best toilet, I can't do any of those. I'm sorry. Okay, they're very basic at the moment. I don't have the ability to produce those. So I'm going to have to hold off from helping out. A nice little corn task down there as well. So carrot, I can wait on. Eggs, I can wait on. So 
I don't think I need to worry about those orders. Right, that's basically it. So a little bit of farming, a little bit of doing different bits and bobs. Now, if I wanted to, I could make some more money by putting some products in for sale. Now, at the moment, I don't have many resources down there. And even if I try to upgrade, I'm not going to be able to do it either. So, like, I'm limited on the options I have. Now, if I sell something, I want people to actually come and have a look at my uh, truck board as well. Now, some people will do so. Some people will just buy from your actual shop and then leave the game. Now, I like to go and have a look when I do go somewhere. But in the meantime, let's sell some of the animal feed because I do have quite a bit of an excessive amount. So, there we go six and six let's see what happens will we get somebody coming to buy those and doing some trucks as well i hope so because there were some nice easy trucks down there as i'm waiting for my eggs right that's my back to basics uh play done there everybody hopefully you got some nice little tips and ideas out of the one uh, i will see you in my next video so take care have fun and happy farming now oh by the way don't forget to subscribe and hit that beautiful bell notification i appreciate it if you do that and definitely like the video Ta-da!